Hello, my name is Sachin Brahme with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we'll talk about managing user accounts in Proactive Contact. For this, I log on to the administrator main menu. I choose option two for administrative tasks. Then I go to option two again, manage user accounts. It asks me whether I'm sure, I say yes. And then it takes me to the wizard of manage user accounts. So as you can see on the left hand side, I have the different commands for different tasks. And on the right hand side, I have the groups listed. Let's try out the first command that is add a user login. I have to press control L and it asks me the name of the user. I'll type the username. I type the name of the user and press enter. I have to give a password here. I give the password and then it asks me the group and I can choose one of these groups that are listed on the right hand side here on the screen. Let's say I'll choose the group as system. And then I can give a brief description about the user. And then when I'm done typing, I'll press enter and the user is added. To save this, I'll just do a control X and it asks me whether or not I want to save the changes. I'll say yes. And it will come out of that wizard. So now that we have added the user, let's try some other options. So I'll go to the manage user accounts again. And let's try now to edit a user. For that first, I'll have to do a find a user option because I have to find that user first. So I'll press control F and it asks me the name of the user. I'll type my username. And it will bring up the user details on my screen. You can see the name of the user. For the encrypted password, it will show asterisk symbols there. It will show me the group and it will show me the description. Along with that, it will also show me the user ID that the system has assigned when it created it. So if I have to change the password, let's say, I'll come to the password field and then I'll use the option control C. And I'll type new password here. I'll press enter and then I'll press control X to save the changes and it comes back to the administrative tasks menu again. Let's try some other options. I'll go back in again. So the other options I have here are delete a current user or a reset fail count for the user. The delete option would be used when you want to delete a particular user from the system. And the reset fail count for a user option would be used when a user has tried to log in multiple times with an incorrect password and he has exceeded the value of the fail count. So his account gets locked. So to reset that, you can use this particular option. So we will try and delete a user here. I'll press control F again to find the user. I get the details of my test user on my, on my screen. And then I press control D. It asks me, am I sure to delete it? I'll say yes. And it would get deleted now. Now if I try and find that user again, it says record not found because it has been deleted from the system. So let's try and use the reset fail count option also. I have a user whose account has been logged due to the successive failed attempts with the wrong password. We will try to reset that account. So as you can see on my screen, I will try to log in with that username. The username is user9. I type in the password and it says incorrect password. Although the system is returning the message as incorrect password, but it's due to getting logged after successive failed attempts with the wrong password. So on my other party window, where I have the administrative tasks open, I'll go back to the manage user accounts. I will find the user first. And then I'll choose the option control U 
to reset the fail count for this user. I will say yes and then I'll save and exit. So I'll press Ctrl X and then press Y and enter. On my other putty window, let's try and log in this user again. I'll type the password and you can see that the user has logged in now. And since this user was a system supervisor user, you see the supervisor main menu on the screen now. So in this video, we saw how to manage user accounts. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at or at Mentor on Twitter.